Hi, and welcome to day five of the Windworks Largo Stata Stage trial. Now, of course, this is lecture number five. Up until now, most of the lectures have been about psychology, of course, our understanding of what it should feel like to play uh, and how the system works. Now, I've mentioned that you need to see the body's concert hall, passive reduction, all these videos in the, uh, the foundation level. But I haven't mentioned the four factories, and it's a really important one. And today's lecture, Fast and Furious Fiasco, what are the four techniques involved in playing? We've got air, sound. We've got harmonic slurs. We've got tongue. And we've got valves. That's all there is. And I'll give you a little demonstration again. I haven't even touched the trumpet, it's sitting here. I'll pick it up now, just to demonstrate a point. That, as you know by now, feels like humming. So I mentioned harmonic slurs. So of course that was harmonic slurs and valves. Or we could add tongue or double tongue. Oh, it's all the same thing. Fast and Furious Fiasco is about the fact, besides if we get impatient and rush through the course and get frustrated, the main purpose of it is once we start doing a harmonic slur, now in the Largo status stage here, you're doing C sharp to F sharp, D to G, C to G, or B flat to F on the, on the trombone in the bass clef. When we tend to go faster, are we maintaining pure process? Fast and furious fiasco, we start getting faster on our harmonic slurs and the body starts to tighten up. The harmonic slurs are a change of shape, movement of the face not panic, body, push, choke. That's what you need to be aware of. So when you're using the progress charts, uh, be aware of the process behind it. Don't let the speed encourage uh, negative processes. If you work too fast through, you know this already, I don't need to tell you. If you're impatient or you do not understand something, that we've already covered in the course, you're gonna miss out, you're gonna to have to come back, or you're just not going to get the results that you want. The whole purpose of this course is to guide you through to whatever level of player you want to be. If you have a one hour lesson once a week, that leaves all of your time on your own, in your practice room, experimenting, and often unguided and falling into big traps. So with the course here, you've got access to it 24 seven, to guide you through so you can figure out what you can do, what you can kind of do, and what you can't do. Ideally, we want pure process all over our, our plane. How do we find that? Low C, then a G. But for some reason, when turns into, and everything tightens and we turn into this. And the only way you're going to be able to fix it, and it's everywhere, the only way you're going to be able to fix it is to recognise it. That's what the whole course up until now has been preparing you to start doing your harmonic slurs uh, and then, of course, adding tongue valves, etc. The essence of today's lecture is as you get faster, you do not go into all kinds of push, which puts tension on here and tugging tightens everything up it has to be loose and free and also if you work fast and furious through the course without mindfully understanding taking notes I'm not sure if people are using the notes comments box to themselves as a reminder when you log back in the notes are there on the dashboard telling you where you are up to it's all there it's very user-friendly so when you find something you want to make a note of what you were doing, where you were at. Mark the lesson and put it in the comments box below. And then next time you'll be able to come back and go, oh, that's right, it was the uh, presto stage and it was the A-flat exercises having trouble with octave jumps, <laughs> whatever it was. 
Okay, so we've only got a couple of days left. Hopefully you're uh, on the way to subscribing. You get two months, up to two months. You might stay for a month, you might stay for a year. People have. Uh, but we're giving you two months at half price with your coupon code in your emails. So please, uh, get on board. You know, I'd hate for you to miss out that opportunity. Uh, that's it for lecture five, short and sweet today, and look forward to the completion stage tomorrow.